Hello, welcome to Literary Life and welcome to today's book review, which is of The Vaster Wilds by Lauren Groff. This book, guys, I'm looking forward to talking to you about it. I will give every book one to five stars. One star, I did not like the book. Two stars, eh, it was okay. Three stars, it was a good book and I recommend it for some people. Four stars, it was a great book. I loved it. And then five stars are those books that just blow my mind. My book review will be spoiler free. I will have a link below if you're interested in purchasing this copy. It will hit my Pingo Bookshop, or I'll just have links to new copies if you'd like to grab them. So let's start talking about this book. This book is going to take us back to colonial times, to the Jamestown colony and the surrounding wilderness in Virginia. So we're talking like I think it was 1609 to 1610. And during that time, the people in the colony were experiencing a horrific thing, um, famine and disease, and people are dying. And they're basically surrounded, I, I think it's by some of the Native American tribes in the area from the way they're described. And so there's no easy way to just leave the colony. Plus it's wilderness, there's no development, so nowhere for them to go. So they're really stuck in this fort and they're left starving and some horrific things have occurred. And we're gonna hear a little bit about that through the eyes of our main character, our protagonist, who is a young girl. Her true age is never given, um, but she is also nameless, which I thought was really interesting. She will be referred to as she or the girl throughout the whole novel. Now, our main character has had an a crazy difficult life. Um, she started, I believe it was at the age of four in Europe um, as a caretaker for a newborn infant, four years old. So she essentially um, fell in love with this job. She really had this natural, it sounds like nurturing quality and was very protective of this young child. And she was a, a servant to the young daughter's parents. Um, the father, I believe, was a religious man who had some authority, and then his wife, who's referred to as the mistress. So the family decides to come to the new America, and they bring the servant girl with them. And we're going to hear a little bit through her recollections of the, a little bit about the time in England and her stepping into service, um, how she forges an attachment with the child she is in charge of caring for. Um, but also about the horrific boat trip to America, the beginnings of the time in America, and then the starvation and the disease, um, and what happened to the young girl she cared for throughout this period of time. We know that something occurred that sent our main character to suddenly sneak out and escape, leave the fort. Um, we have a sense that she did something that she feels very conflicted about, um, and we know that it is essentially, it sounds like it's been like a traumatic experience for her, but it caused her to leave in the middle of the night um, to gather uh, just a few key critical belongings. And then she has entered the wilderness, the wild on her own, and is essentially running through her life. She is being tracked and we're going to the majority of the book is going to focus on that key moment when she leaves the fort to escape, her movements through the wild, her uh, her survival skills, um, her innate instincts, the way she uh, perceives the world around her. All of this is going to be brought to life so vividly because the whole entire book is told from the thoughts that are moving in our protagonist's mind. It is a really interesting and unique reading experience. And I really want to stress that because I think for me, that was the value of this book. The story is a very intense story, but it was the way the language and the perspective of the events are portrayed that I think really is what I want to call out when I say this is a solid four star review for me. I absolutely love this book and I really loved it because of the unique reading experience it offers. One of the things I want to highlight is that the language, the way the girl thinks is very much of that time. It is going to be very colonial in nature. Um, so it did take me a little bit of time because I don't read a tremendous amount of literature that's written in that type of language of that time. So to kind of shift and get comfortable, you know, with that style of language. 
But once I did, um, it just, like I said, it maybe took me 50-ish pages and then I was flowing and I found it very easy to kind of follow along. And it really, what it did for me was it really brought to life the uniqueness of that moment in history from today's um, language and style of thought. So I really enjoyed that part as well. Um, so the com com combined component of the way the language flows and the fact that we're fully in this unnamed girl's head, experiencing her her run through the wild, experiencing her um, history, what brought her to this point in time through her memories and recollections, was such a unique, beautiful, gut-wrenching, and intense story. Um, I'm going to say this one isn't an easy read, but the author did a beautiful brilliant job of taking these horrific events, and there is a lot of horrific events, and yet weaving in the beauty of the world around her. And it just really made it a very rich story that I think is one of those that will stick in your mind that I'm going to carry with me for a long time. So solid four-star read for me, The Vaster Wilds. Highly recommend it. And like I said, if you don't read a lot of way historical fiction back into the 1600s. Just give yourself some time to adjust and then enjoy the experience. As always, want to hear if you've read this book below what your thoughts were. And other than that, let's go read some more books. Happy reading.